you all. We're going to truly go through and break down this market. I'm going to show you some things. Right now, the stock market may seem like a, 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 total, a totally different uh, beast for you right now. You may be like, man, what in the world? They be talking about in the stock market. I hear people on Facebook and Instagram and all. I see friends saying, oh, I'm making money. I'm making money in the stock market. I'm making money in the stock market. All of those good things. And now I'm going to break this thing down to you so you can have a better understanding of what stock options are. Okay. If you're on Instagram right now, you want to see my screen, jump over to my YouTube channel. Jump over to my YouTube channel if you want to see my screen. Go to... Go to YouTube to see my screen. All right, there we go. Uh, the link is in my bio for my YouTube. The link is in my bio for my YouTube, okay? So, perfect. I think we're good to go now, everybody. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's see. I'm ready to rock. pull up and I think we're good all right so I know you probably see everybody oh Bitcoin is going up all these different things going up but we're not talking about Bitcoin tonight okay we're not talking about anything related to Bitcoin we talk we're talking about the stock market everybody this is the stock market right now I bet somebody probably have a pair of Jordans on their feet I bet somebody probably has a pair of Nikes on right now somebody may have a Nike t-shirt on Right now, all of these things that you currently wear, somebody may have an Apple iPhone right now. All of these things that you currently have on you right now, you may have paid $1,000 for an Apple iPhone, but the stock for Apple only costs $169, $171 right now. So to have ownership in the company, right? To have ownership in the Apple's company, you can pay $173. But if you go buy an iPhone, spend a thousand dollars on an iPhone, you gain no, you gain nothing, absolutely nothing at all. But an iPhone, you have no ownership in it. Okay, two thousand eight. I don't know if you guys ever seen that video, the video on, uh, the video on uh, Ryan Leslie. Okay, his name was Ryan Leslie. Ryan Leslie, two thousand and I want to say two thousand eight. He put a hundred thousand dollars in the Apple stock. Okay, he had a mentor, and this is the singer Ryan Leslie. Uh, some of you guys may know the singer Ryan Leslie. He put a hundred thousand dollars into the stock around 2008. Okay, 2008, and guess what happened today? Why am I receiving? Hey, this is why are text messages going out with the wrong link? I don't know, anyway. But uh, today, that stock is now worth now today, his investment worth 14 million dollars. So 2008, he put $100,000 in the Apple stock. Today, it's worth, it's worth uh, $14 million. Now, let me ask you this self question. If you can go back to, if you can go back to 2008 and invest $100,000 and make $14 million, would you do it? Put a yes in the chat or a no. Yes or no in the chat. If you can go, if you can invest $100,000 and then it turns into $14 million in roughly 16 years, would you do it? So before we get started, everybody, I want, you, I want you guys to understand where we are right now, okay? This is very, very, very important. I promise everybody, tonight what you're going to learn, we're digging deep. This is, this is not, I'm not going to give you anything to pacify you. We're going to go deep. I can't give you everything because I don't have enough time. But trust and believe, we're going deep, Okay. So follow me right quick, everybody. Right now, we're in that moment of life. Listen to what I'm saying. We're in that moment of life. When I say life, I'm strictly talking about the times where you have an opportunity of a lifetime. We're in that moment right now. Think about when McDonald's first came on the scene. You can get into a McDonald's franchise for $100,000. Right now, if you want to get into a McDonald's franchise, over millions of dollars just to get into that franchise. Think about when cell phones first came into existence. You could have got into a cell phone company for pennies on the dollar because cell phones was non-existent. And now cell phones in everybody's hand. Think about when the internet first came. And when internet first came, you know, you had to do the AOL speed dial up and everything. And now we have the internet like this. 
people that invested in these once in a lifetime opportunities, they they invested back then and they making money now and their families are wealthy and well off. But then you sit back to ask yourself, what was my family doing back in those times? What was my family doing when the internet bubble happened? What was my family doing when the cell phones jump on the scene? What was my family doing when McDonald's was only $100,000? What was my family doing? Why no one in my family took the opportunity to say, hey, I'm going to invest into this stock market, into, into cell phones, into the internet. The reason why, because they did not have any understanding. They did not have any knowledge. And certain things, depending on your background, was kept from you. This is just the reality. My mom, my dad, my grandma, my great grandma, they were trying to survive. They didn't have the opportunity to live. They were trying to survive. What does survive mean? Survive means when you check the mailbox, it's not a, it's not a thing that say the light bill is passed due and the light's going to get cut off tomorrow. That's called surviving. Surviving is calling when the when your rent due on the your rent due on the first and you don't have enough money to pay your rent on the first. So for the next four days you're trying to hustle up that money for before the fifth comes so you don't get an eviction notice on your door. That's called surviving. So mama and grandma didn't have the opportunity to sit there and say, hey, I'm gonna invest in this internet bubble because they was just trying to make sure the lights was on, the lights was on, food was in the refrigerator, and we can get through the week. That's what they was trying to do. Never forget my mama, me and my mama uh, and my sister was in the car one time riding up, uh, riding up I-77 highway. My mama said she ran out of gas on the highway. It's my mama and two little kids. I was probably like four and my sister was like five years old. We were walking up the highway because my mama ran out of gas. And then my mama said a woman, a woman stopped and picked us up and went and helped us out and whatnot. And the woman said the most high, just told, the, God just told me to stop and pick y'all up and help y'all. That's called surviving, everybody. If your mom or your dad worked 12 shifts, they worked 9 to 5, got off at 5, went to their 5 to 9 job, that's called surviving. They, don't, they didn't have an opportunity to look into any type of investments. Right now, some of you all are still surviving. Some of you are still surviving. But you're here right now because you say, I'm tired of surviving and I want to live. I want to live, not survive. So right now, everyone, you're in an opportunity. You're in a space where this thing called AI. I don't know if you guys heard about AI, artificial, artificial intelligence, is about to take off and go crazy. So the same way that cell phones went crazy, the internet went crazy, 20, 30 years from now, you're going to be looking back, you're going to look back and say, man, 30 years ago, life was totally different. Now, 30 years now, AI is everywhere. And you have the opportunity to go ahead and put your stake in the companies and invest in the companies. And 20, 30 years down the road, your life is going to be totally different. But guess whose self life is going to be totally different? Your kids don't have to worry about nothing. Your kids' kids don't have to worry about anything. And I hear some of you saying, well, Chris, that sounds great, but I need something now. We got you there too. You invest for long term and you can invest for short term. And today we're going to talk about short term, short term to mid term. But I want you guys to understand, once you learn the, once you learn the stock market, you already know, you will know how to invest long term, how to invest short term. Your NVIDIA's, your AMD, your TSMs, all of these companies right now are starting to take off and they're in year one of this AI stuff. Wait for year 10 to happen. I promise you, year 10 to happen, you will see that say, this guy right here with the gray hair, everybody, yes, this is my real hair. I did not dye this hair. I hear everybody on my post talking about, man, you dyed your hair, you dyed your hair, blah, now this is my real hair. I got hit with the gray bug when I was 14 years old and it's been a wrap for me ever since then, okay? It's been a wrap for me ever since then. But everybody, I'm just going to tell you this right now. Today when we leave this class, if you don't hear nothing I said, everybody, if you do not hear anything I said, just remember this one thing right now, everybody, I'm telling you right now, you can be that person when your great grandkids and your great, great, great grandkids look back. They say my uncle or my aunt, they are the people that's made a change in my family. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. 
<laughs> Cassandra said she was cool with boy with gray hair. I'm telling you, listen to what I'm telling you. They one day they will be sitting at the table and they will look back and they say, Well, you know you know Grandpa Chris, Grandpa C Jack 130, he made this, he made the foundational change in our family. And that can be the same thing happening to you. But anyway, everybody, listen, let's get started. I'm excited that you're here tonight, everybody. I'm going to introduce you to the stock market. I'm going to introduce you to a world you never knew existed. Okay? I'm literally going to introduce you to a place where you open up your laptop every single morning and it's like you transport into a different world. And I'm not talking about the different world with Dwayne and Whitley Gilbert, okay? I'm talking about a different world, everybody, where people are making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a day. I'm talking about a world where people are going into the market and they're making people's yearly salaries in two to three to four days. This is where I'm going to introduce you to tonight, Okay. You're not going to get it all tonight. So don't think you're going to get it every single thing. You're going to get it tonight and you're going to be, you're going to just be perfectly, un, you're going to perfectly understand everything tonight, everybody. If that was the case, I would be lying to you. That's not going to happen. What I'm going to teach you, everybody, is not easy. What I'm going to teach you, everybody, is not simple. What I'm going to teach you, everybody, is not for everyone. Some people on this call right now, it's not for you. I'm sorry to say it, but it's not from you. It's not for you. And the reason why I say it's not for you, not because you can't understand it, is because you won't put the work in to understand it. Okay? Now, some people on this call, you will put the work in to understand it. And guess what will happen? You will get it. And guess what happens? Some days you make $100, some days you make $500, some days you lose $200, some days you make $2,000. And I'm going to show you all that because you might be saying, Chris, you lying. I'm going to take you back. I'm going to show you people that came through my program that two years ago, they started trade with me. And now today, this year, they done made $11,000 in one day. Then $7,000 in one day. Then $4,000, $3,000, $2,000, $1,000 in one day. The reason why, because they didn't quit. They didn't give up, okay? But anyway, that's enough of me running my mouth and talking, everybody. Let's get started, all right? Let's get started. So I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to get started, everybody. I want you guys to do one more thing for me. In the chat right now, put the word commit. Type the word commit in the chat right now. <laughs> type, the word, type the word commit. Type the word commit in the chat right now. Type the word commit. The reason why everybody, I want you to type the word commit is very important. When you type the word commit, you're committing to two things, okay? The first thing that you're committing to, you're committing to learning this skill set. Everybody, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't care what anybody say in the world. They say trading stock options can be hard. They say trading stock options, you can lose your money. All of those things are true. But everybody, when you commit to it, the first thing, commit to learn the skill set. And the second thing to commit to, which is the most important thing, commit to practicing risk management, commit to being disciplined. When you do those two things, everybody, you have the opportunity to make thousands of dollars a day. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Not going to sugarcoat it for you. Okay? All right. So, everyone, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right. Okay. From the beginning. Let's go. All right, everybody. So what am I showing you today? So I want you to understand what am I showing you today? What are we going to be discussing today? Today, everybody, we're going to be discussing a few things, right? But the first thing what I'm going to show you is this. I want to show you guys how to make additional money trading stock options while working a full-time job. Okay. That's the first thing I want to show you. The most important thing that I want to show you is that as well. I currently work a full-time job, everybody. That's why I can show you how to make additional income trading stock options while working a full-time job. So that's the first thing I want to show you, everybody, okay? Now, after, what, what is the goal? What is my goal? My goal is to teach you a lot, okay? But I know personally right now, everybody, that I cannot teach you everything in one day. OK, so what I want you to believe and understand tomorrow morning when you wake up in the morning, OK, tomorrow morning when you wake up, 
I want you to be like that guy with the gray hair said every single day I can wake up in the morning, Monday through Friday, and make money trading stock options while I'm still working my full-time job. So I'm working my full-time job and I'm making money trading stock options. Last Thursday, I think I made like a thousand, I think I made a thousand dollars. I was up two thousand at one point in time. I was working my full-time job, made two that made a thousand dollars trading, and I probably made a couple of a couple thousand dollars for the day. Just like that. It wasn't easy, but I learned the skill set. I know how to do it. Okay? So let's keep going. Now, if you stay to the end, everybody, if you stay to the end, I'm going to have an opportunity for everyone that's on this call to learn more about trading stock options by joining my upcoming mastermind that I have coming up. Just being honest with you. So at the end, if you say, hey, this is something I want to do, you will have the opportunity to join in. Second thing I want you to do if you stay to the end, I'm giving away a couple dollars. I'm taking care of somebody's lunch for the week. Okay? Probably going to give away $100, take away, take care of somebody's lunch for the week. And uh, so, yeah, they can have that break and get and have a good lunch this week. So I'm going to take care of somebody's lunch, and I'm going to do a drawing at the end or a contest at the end where I'm going to give away $100, okay? All right. Next thing is this. Let me introduce myself to you, okay? Who is Christopher Jackson, all right? First thing first, I'm a husband, all right? I think this is my old. This is my old one. Hold on a second, everybody. Let me double check. I think this is my old one. One second. One second, everybody. This might be my old one. No, this is my new one. That's still my new one. Okay, that's cool. Let's go. Uh, all right. Okay. So I'm a husband. First and foremost, I'm a father. I'm the man of the most high. I know most of y'all probably see I always put down all praise to the most high on all of my uh, on all of my posts. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be here. The position that I'm currently in right now, I've done absolutely nothing to be here. The most high blessed me with this position to be able to, hear, be able to sit here before you all and teach you guys this stuff, right? It's a blessing, right? It truly is a blessing. So I'm thankful for the most high for just giving me breath and waking me up every single morning and blessing me with my family. So I all give all praise to the most high. Uh, next thing, I'm a husband, okay? I'm also a father of five. I got five kids and I tell everybody, listen, if I have five kids, my last name is Jackson. We are officially the Jackson Five, okay? And if they, if they are the Jackson Five, that leaves no choice but for me to be Joe Jackson, okay? So I'm Joe Jackson. Everybody, I tell them Joe Jackson minus the beatings, okay? Joe Jackson minus the beatings, everybody. All right. Uh, I'm a, currently my current role, right? My current role, I'm a senior vice president for a Fortune 500 company. Okay, I'm a senior vice president for a Fortune 500 company. So therefore, you say, "Hey, Chris, how can you teach us how to make additional income trading stock options working a full time job?" The reason why I can do it because I currently have a full time job. Everybody, that's how I can do it. Okay. Uh, next thing is, I used to be a former vice president at Wells Fargo and Bank of America. Okay, I used to be a former vice president at Wells Fargo and Bank of America. And I currently have a stock option trading program where my students have collectively made more than a million dollars in gains, everybody. Okay, that means going into that market, making profit. Okay, and I'm going to break a lot of this stuff down to you tonight. Okay, now on the screen right now, a little bit more things about me, some things I've done right in life. This beautiful lady on the screen right now, this is my beautiful wife. Okay, uh, marrying this beautiful woman was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Uh, I married her in 2015, 2015, we married, we've been, we've been married almost what, nine years, eight years, something like that, so pretty long time, okay, uh, also, another thing I done right was actually, we retired my wife, so me and my wife was at, di at lunch one day, and we were sitting down, and she's like, hey, Chris, I really don't want to go back to the school, she's a school teacher, high school teacher, said she really don't want to go back to the school, so we uh, looked at the numbers, the numbers made sense, and I, uh, we were able to retire my wife. All praise to the most high. So now she has her own business. It's called Ina Rose Aesthetics, where she focuses on health care, uh, skin care treatment. So definitely proud of this woman right here. And I'm a privilege to be a husband, privileged to be her husband, man. All right. Now, back to those five kids I was talking about. These are my beautiful blessings, man. The most high blessed me with five kids. Uh, it's like every time I look at my wife, she get pregnant. So now I just keep my eyes closed. Walk around the house all day blind. <laughs> just, so I, just so she won't get pregnant. But this beautiful, this beautiful woman right here is Rain Jackson. She's 16 years old. This guy right here is my Noah Smoa. He's uh, seven years old. This guy right here is Asher Dasher Lasher Rasher. 
He's four years old. This dude right here is Sethio. He's two years old. And we have one more that's not in this picture, but he is seven months. And his name is Micah Jackson, everybody. This is the Jackson 5, okay? Everybody, this is the Jackson 5, and they get, they get beatings every time they miss a song. <laughs> miss a beat. <laughs> I'm messing. I'm messing around. All right, so that's my family, everybody. I love them to death, and uh, wouldn't change it for the world, man. Wouldn't change it for the world. All right? Now, some things I've done wrong. <laughs> I got now, so you got five too. Listen, bro, I feel your pain. I understand you. I understand. My listen, everybody. My house is like my house be on 10,000 24 7. I mean, you got one kid yelling over here, one kid yelling over there, one kid just looking around, look like he want to yell. It's like everybody just yelling. Then my daughter, she go in the room and just close the door. Say, I don't care about all, none of y'all clowns. She go in there, close the door, and lock everybody out, right? But in this picture right here on the screen, everybody, this is me at the age of 22 years old. I want everybody right now in the chat to put 62,000. Put 62K in the chat right now. 62K in the chat right now. 62K in the chat right now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Why am I putting, why did I tell you to put $62,000 in the chat right now? Everybody, I lost $62,000. $62,000. Trading stock options when I first started. So that ad that you guys saw, and I know if you guys saw the comments, people like, hey, Chris, uh, set my screen up for me for free like the man did you. Or, hey, Chris, you're charging to teach people how to do stuff, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, when somebody gave you the game for free. I'm like, okay, uh, I, did, I did pay the person. But anyway, <laughs> keep going. But this is the thing about it. I lost $62,000. The man who introduced me to it, I'm, in, I'm definitely appreciative to it. But I didn't have a relationship with the person. I met him at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, right? I never had a relationship with him. So I couldn't call him every single day and be like, hey, man, uh, what's this? What's going on? Why, da, 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 da. I couldn't do that, right? So I, had, so I went to YouTube University. And that was an expensive tuition. It was a whole bunch of free videos, but it was very expensive. It was worth $62,000 of tuition for me to learn nothing, right? So, uh, everybody, do not lose $62,000 trading stock options by trying to do it on your own and learn it by yourself, okay? Do not do it, okay? I definitely did not tell my wife, all right? <laughs> now, in this picture, everybody, this is me at the age of 22 years old. And I've always been an individual that wanted more out of life. I've always been an individual who felt like there was more out of life. I've always been an individual who never wanted to struggle in life because I see my mom, I see my dad, I see my family struggle. So I'm like, I do not want to struggle, right? Uh, so, but when I was 22 years old, I bought this car and guess what I started doing? I started struggling, okay? It was the dumbest decision I ever made. Now, if you know what a 745 BMW is, you know one, you know one or two things for sure. I was clean. I was super clean now. I had 20, I put 22 inch, well, I bought it with 22 inch rims on it. I used to say, I'm 22 sitting on 22s. Now, so I was, I was popping now. That's one thing for sure. But I'll tell you one thing, that car payment, that maintenance was too expensive. Next thing you know, I started missing car payments, right? I started, I started saying, forget, screw it, forget getting that maintenance done. I ain't doing it, right? So it was too much for me at that age. So I learned a valuable lesson, right? I didn't have any financial, I didn't have any type of, uh, financial literacy. I didn't grow up with financial literacy. We didn't we didn't talk about financial literacy. We talked about the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins, right? That's what we talked about. So now I'm out in this real world trying to understand this, trying to understand buying this or credit and all that stuff. I had no idea until I messed my credit up. The next thing you know, my credit went down to like a 400 and something. That's when I realized I had bad credit. Okay, now my credit score is in the seven in the mid sevens. So you can, in other words, you can bounce back from any situation that you're currently in, everybody. Okay. Now, before we get started, I want to know, I want to tell you three things, okay? Three things I do not want you to do because this is going to make trading stock options extremely hard for you. First thing, do not go to YouTube trying to learn stock options. Go to YouTube to just kind of figure out some things you should dig into. But you need to have somebody to give you a plan, everybody. A plan. Have somebody to walk you through the process. Have somebody who done went through the storm, came out of the storm, went back into the storm, came out of the storm to guide you through the storm. Okay? Trying to go through that storm by yourself is something. The second thing is trying to do everything the shortcut. The shortcut, right? So this is what I mean by the shortcut process. When I first started trading, by that first time I made $143, everybody, I'm looking around like the feds was coming to get me. 
I thought literally I'm doing something wrong because there's no way in the world that I'm truly making this amount of money trading stock options. And I had no idea what I was doing. I turned $1,000, everybody, into, I turned $1,000 into what? I think like $4,000. And then in three weeks, so I'm listening, I'm walking around, I'm looking around telling everybody, listen, you need to be trading, 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 trading. Next thing you know, that $4,000 turned into $500 in three days. That $4,000 turned into $500 in three days. At that moment, I realized I didn't know what I was doing and I needed help. And I went to YouTube. And I lost $62,000 and then I really got help, okay? So there's no shortcut because the reason why everybody, when I turned into that, when I turned that $1,000 to $4,000, I wanted to make a million dollars next. So every day I went into that market, I was trying to get thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Not understanding that sometimes the market will allow you to get thousands of dollars. Sometimes the market will not allow you to get thousands of dollars. I didn't understand the story the market was telling. And I'm going to break that down to you tonight, okay? Also, the last thing is this, everybody. If somebody say, hey, Chris, join my room and I'm going to put you in a Discord chat. And I, you can just copy all my trades and you're going to win. Run away as fast as possible. It does not work that way, everybody. It does not work that way. Listen, I don't want anybody giving me fish. Give me a fishing rod, give me the bait, and I can throw it in there and I can get the fish out myself. Teach me how to fish. If somebody teach you how to fish, you can eat forever. Okay? Teach me how to fish, and that's what I do. I teach people how to fish. Now, if somebody say, join my Discord chat, I'm going to give you a course so you can kind of learn everything, that's perfectly fine. But don't just join a Discord chat and just say, hey, I'm going to copy. Hey, I'm going to copy. You get into a trade. Tell me about it. I'm going to jump in too. No, everybody. You're going to lose your money as fast as you're going to lose your money as fast as you turn your head. It's be gone. Okay? All right. Now, let's get started. All right? Let's get started. I'm done rambling, done talking, done introducing myself to you. Let's get started. All right? Let's get started, everybody. Four fears that keep people out of the stock market. Everybody, I talk to people about the stock market every single day. This is what I do. I talk to people about the stock market all day, every day. These are the four things that every single person say. First thing is, the first fear is this. They fear the market is too complicated to understand. And I totally get it. Like I say, we didn't grow up talking about the stock market. I probably, the, I probably said the word stock market in my life for my first 25, 30 years of my life. I probably said the word stock market less than 20 times. In 30 years. I probably said stock market less than 20, less than 20 times, probably less than 10 times. So now you want to get into a stock market that's been around forever, but you know nothing about. It can be kind of overwhelming. It can be kind of frustrating. It can be uh, a little scary. Okay. But when you have somebody to meet you where you are and break it down so you can understand it, that's where I come in. Okay. Second fear is not enough time to watch the market. Okay, people say, I work, I work, Chris. I don't have time to sit and watch the market. Well, hey, me, I don't have time to sit and watch the market either. Okay, so that's why I want you to understand that you don't have to sit down and watch the market. People are afraid to lose their money. I get it. I'm afraid to lose my money too. Okay, so I'm going to show you ways. I'm going to show you ways you can protect yourself. And the fourth fear, not enough capital to start with. Okay, most people feel like they do not have enough money to start trading with. All right. They feel like you got to have twenty five thousand dollars to start trading. Everybody. That's false. That's a false narrative. All right. That's a false narrative. All right. So let's keep going. OK, first fear. We fear the market is too complicated to understand. Everybody grab your pencils and notebooks. We're about to go in. Hands down. We're about to go in, everybody. Let's go. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to tell you about what a stock is, because some some of you all may not know what a stock is. Some of you all may not have even like really have an understanding of the stock market. So let me break this down to you, give you a good understanding of this, and then we'll keep moving forward. OK, so stocks. are what are stocks, everybody? OK, what are stocks? Right. So the word stocks and shares can be used uh Use uh, interchangeable, right? They're the same thing, right? So if you have a share in a company, that means you have ownership in that company, okay? You have ownership in that company. If you buy one share of Nike that's worth $100, that means now you have ownership in that company. If that stock or that share goes up to $140, now that means you made $40 profit because your share that you bought in for $100 is now valued at $140, and that gives you $40 profit. Okay. 
All right. Now, the market, the stock market, the hours of the stock market is from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, excluding holidays and weekends. Okay, excluding holidays and weekends. Okay, everybody, when you start trading, you're going to hate the weekends. Just tell you now. You're going to hate the weekends because you can't trade. You're going to hate holidays because you cannot trade. And you're going to be like, you're missing opportunities to make money and make your life better because of the, because of the weekend. Okay? So, listen, that's like a, a quick thing what stocks are. Basically, stocks that you have ownership in a company. Okay? Now, what we're going to be discussing is stock options. Okay? We're discussing stock options. All right? Now, what are stock options? All right, I'm gonna break it down to you this way right here, okay? So say for example, we got Miss Janelle Simmons, okay? Miss Janelle Simmons, right? I go to Miss Janelle Simmons, I say, hey, Miss Janelle, what's going on? How you doing? How you living, right? Listen, Miss Janelle, I have this house, okay? And this house is worth $100,000, Miss Janelle. But I'm coming to you right now, Miss Janelle, I'm going to give you or lease this house to you for two weeks. Only thing you have to give me, Miss Janelle, is $100. I'm going to give you this house worth $100,000. You give me $100 for it, and you can hold this house for two weeks. I don't care what you do with this house, Miss Janelle. You can go have a house party like kid and play and charge to get into the dough. You can put it on Airbnb and Airbnb it out. I don't care what you do, Miss Janelle, and any money you make off this house, Miss Janelle, you get to keep it. You get to keep it, Miss Janelle. I don't want it. You can keep it. It's yours. So if you give me a hundred, you make a thousand, that's your thousand dollars, Miss Janelle. The only thing I ask of you, Miss Janelle, is you either buy this hundred thousand dollar house for me by the expiration date, or you sell this to somebody else. And that's what the stock option is, everybody. Someone has a stock. They're going to lease you this stock for the lowest price. Their stocks will be valued at $10,000. You say, hey, give me, a, uh, give me $150 for three, four, five weeks, and boom. However much money you make off this, uh, while you have the possession of this stock, is yours. It's yours to keep. Okay? That's what an option is. You get everything at a discounted rate. And you make, it, you make money 10 times faster than you would if you just bought the regular stock. Okay? All right. Next thing. There's two types of options that we use, everybody, that we, that we actually uh, that we have. We have a call option and a put option. Okay? Now, listen close, everybody. I'm about to say something very important. A call option, everybody, is when you believe the stock price is going to increase in value. When you believe the stock price is going to increase in value, you think the stock price is going to go up. So you think the stock is going to go from 100 to 110, 115, 120, 125, 130. Okay? That's a call option. If you think the stock market is going to go down, you get into a put option. That's when you believe the stock price is going from 100 to 90 to 80 to 70 to 60. OK, everybody, the most important thing what I just said is we make money off of a call option and we make money off of a put option. We can care less if the stock goes up or if the stock goes down. We make money regardless. I hope you hear what I'm saying. If the stock is going up, we can make money. If the stock is going down, guess what? We can make money. I wake up every morning, everybody, it's going to sound real bad. I wake up every morning hoping the market is falling from grace, <laughs> okay? I want the market to fall down every single morning because it's really like when, that, when everybody starts selling, it's like, it's like who can sell the fastest. So while somebody, why when you hear the news say, the stock market had its worst day ever, somebody's like, shoot, I just had my best day ever. I got into a put option and made money off of it, Okay. So we can make money if the stock goes up or down, everybody. Very important, okay? So, everybody, if that makes sense, what if that makes sense, put a one in the chat, okay? If that makes sense, put a one in the chat. If it makes sense, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if it makes sense. Y'all gonna have to talk to me.
talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. The one's not, there we go. Okay, there we go. All right, they're coming in fast now. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Where we at? Right here. Okay, boom. Now, everybody, there's three types of trades that you will make. Okay, there are three types of trades that you can make. Okay, the first one is called a day trade, everybody. It's called a day trade. A day trade is when you get into a trade on a Monday and you get out on a Monday. So you get out, get in on one day and get out on the same exact day. That's what a day trade is called. All right. A swing trade is when you get into a trade on a Monday and you hold it overnight at least one night. You hold it for at least one night. That's a swing trade. All right. A scalp is when you get into the trade at four at one o'clock and get out about 102, 103, 104, 105. You in that trade for about 15 minutes or less. That's called a scalp. Okay. Now you say, Chris, why is this why is this important? All right. I break it down about I break it down based upon what you have. Uh, what you have time to do. So I tell everybody, if you're a day trader, that means you have some time at your job to be around your computer or be around your phone, all right? And you can kind of make trades uh, throughout the day. If you're a swing trader, it's more so, hey, I don't have much time to be around my phone at all. I don't have much time to be around my phone at all. Uh, so I want to get into a trade maybe on a Monday and kind of hold out for maybe two months or one month, right? So you don't have to look at it all the time. A scalper is somebody that's literally sitting there at their phone or at their computer looking at it every single day, every second on the second, every second on the second. Okay? So those are the three types of trades you can do. Day trading, swing trading, and scalping. I tell everybody, the most profitable one you can do is right here as a swing trader. Right here as a swing trader. It's the most profitable one. When, let me put that when in there, it's the most profitable one when the market is trending upward or trending downward. Okay? Everybody, my personal opinion, the market is about to go into a major trend up after this push down. The market is going to go to a major trend up and you can get into some swing trades, everybody, and you can turn $1,000 into $5,000. You can turn $1,000 into $10,000 when this market keeps going up. It's not going to happen overnight. It's going to be up some, going to be down some. It's going to be up some, it's going to be down some. Sometimes your stomach going to be in knots. Sometimes you're going to say, this is so stressful, I can't take it. But when you see that big boom, that big push up, and that thing just start rolling, 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 you start seeing your P&L, you start seeing your profit go from 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000. You're going to be like, holy crap. It's a, I'm telling you, it's a beautiful feeling. But I want everybody to experience this feeling, okay? Now, let me stop right here right quick and let me show you guys something, okay? Hopefully what we're talking about so far is making sense, everybody. We just kind of go over and over preliminary stuff. Hopefully it's making some sense to you, okay? So what I want to do is I want to show you something on my screen. Let me show you something right quick. All right, here we go. Okay, right here on my screen, everybody. Everybody, you see this green candlestick right here? That green candlestick right here? Boom, boom. See this red candlestick? Does anyone know what that means? Well, Matt, I don't even put it. Let me do this. If this looks like Chinese to you or foreign language, that green candlestick and that red candlestick, put a one in the chat. If it looks like a foreign language to you, put a one in the chat. I want to see what we get. Put a one in the chat if it's like a foreign language to you. <laughs> gotcha. Look like a foreign language, right? I got a lot of ones. Everybody, these candlesticks right here, they tell a beautiful love story. These candlesticks right here, they're telling a story, everybody. And when you understand these stories, it's going to make your life 10 times easier. It's like going to a foreign country, right? Going to a foreign, foreign country and not knowing the language. That's what it looks like right now. But I'm going to break it down to you now so you can understand the language when you go into that foreign company. It's going to make a foreign, uh, go into that foreign country and it's going to make your life 10 times better. 
okay? It's gonna make your life 10 times better, all right? So let me go back to where I was, as soon as I can find where my mouse is at, there we go. just keep disappearing. Okay, there we go. All right. So, let's take a look at my screen. I think we're good now. I hope we were good. Okay, perfect. There we go. So let's take a look at my screen. Let's break it down now. Okay. So I just showed you a green and red candlestick, right? Now let me actually show you what it meant so it don't look Chinese to you anymore. Okay. Let's break it down and put it in the simplest term. All right. Everybody, whenever you see whenever you see a green candlestick, everybody, that's called a bearish candle i mean a green candlestick that's called a bullish candlestick okay a bullish candlestick so this green candlestick right here is a bullish candlestick everybody that's a bullish candlestick and this bullish candlestick one second what is going on oh, one second let's try this one more time there we go all right, perfect. Now, this green candlestick right here, everybody, is a bullish candlestick, meaning the stock price is increasing. The stock price is going up. So whenever you see the stock, whenever you see a green candlestick, a green candlestick, think about the stock price is increasing. It's going from 100 to 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and so on, okay? And it's called a bullish candlestick, okay? Stock price is increasing. Whenever you see a red candlestick, that's a bearish candlestick, and it means the stock price is decreasing. The stock price is going down. It's going from 100 to 99, 98, 97, 96, and so on and so on and so on, okay? So bullish is a green candlestick, means the stock price is increasing, it's going up. A red candlestick is a bearish candlestick, it means the stock price is decreasing, meaning the stock price is going down, okay? So that's the green, bullish and, red, uh, bullish and bearish candlestick, all right? So let's dig a little deeper, though. Let's dig a little deeper, okay? Let's dig a little deeper, all right? So right here, remember, a green candlestick means the stock price is going up. A green candlestick means it's a bullish candlestick. The price is increasing, so whenever we see a green candlestick, everybody, the candlestick has a life cycle. It opens at a certain point and it closes at a certain point. So with a green candlestick, the stock price opens or the candlestick opens at the bottom of the green body. Y'all hear me? The bottom of the green body. So say it open right here at $5. Boom. Open right here at $5, the bottom of the green body, okay? And next thing you know, by the end of the day, let's say this is a one-day candlestick, at the end of the day, the stock price has increased. People start buying in, buying in, buying in, and it closed right here at the top of the green body at $20. So it opened right here at $5, and it closed up here at $20, meaning the stock increased by $15 for the day. If that makes sense, put a one in the chat. If that makes sense, put a one in the chat. If that makes sense, put a one in the chat. 
Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So that's the story of this candlestick, everybody. Okay, now a red candlestick is the opposite. Okay, the red candlestick is the opposite. A red candlestick opens right here at the top of the bread body and say that's $20. And next thing you know, people start selling throughout the day, selling, 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 selling. The price decreased and closed down here at the bottom of the bread body at $5. Okay, so what does that mean? That means the stock price decreased by negative $15. Dollars. Okay, so a red candlestick opens at the top of the body and closes at the bottom of the body. So the story of this candlestick is saying, hey, it's a red candlestick. It opened at $20. At the end of the day, it closed at $5. Therefore, it was a $15 loss for the day. That's the story of the candlestick. Okay, now, since that makes sense, let's dig a little deeper. Okay, let's dig a little deeper, dig a little deeper. Okay, let's dig a little deeper. All right, here we go. So right here, we have a green candlestick, which is a bullish candlestick, which means price is increasing, which means price is going up. So where does it start at? Where does a green candlestick start, everybody? Put it in the chat. Where does a green candlestick start? Somebody put it in the chat. Let's see if you're paying attention. Let's see if everybody's paying attention. Where does a green candlestick start? Good stuff, uh, Deontay Barrett. At the bottom. The bottom of the what? The bottom of the body. The bottom of the body. So say this is $5 right here. Okay? And where does it close? Where does a green candlestick close? Good stuff, Chris W. At the top of the body. Right here at the top of the body. And say this is $20. So now we understand the story of this candlestick. Once again, open at 5, closed at 20. That's a plus $15 day. But then somebody say, well, Chris... What's these lines right here? What's these sticks? So we call them wicks. What are those? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Everybody, these sticks and wicks represents a location or it represents a price that the stock went to, went to throughout the day. So we see it open at $5 and closed at $20, but now we want to say, what else did it do? How low did it go and how high did it go, right? So if it opened at five right here, it came down here to the bottom of this wick, which is $2. And next thing you know, everybody start buying in saying, hey, it's at $2. This is a great price to buy. So they start buying in, buying in, buying in, buying in, buying in, buying in, buying in. Went all the way up here to the top of this wick at $25. Boom, at $25. And then it fell down here and closed at the top of the body at $20. Everybody, do you all see the story that this candlestick is now telling me? It's telling me, hey, I woke up this morning sitting at $5. Next thing you know, I kind of I felt kind of down on myself. I went down to $2. Next thing you know, I felt very excited about myself. I shot up to $25. And then I kind of calmed down a little bit and I closed at $20. So for the day, I had a pretty good day. I increased my wealth by $15. Okay. Now, the story of the red candlestick. We know the red candlestick opens where? At the top of the body. Say that's $20. And we see right here, it closed at the bottom of the body. Let's say that's $5. Boom. But we have the wicks there. We have the wicks. So with the wick right here, we see that that may have been $22. And next thing you know, we see a wick down here. The stock price came down here to $2. And then it came back up and closed right there at $5, everybody. 
closed at $5. Y'all see that story? Exactly, Brianna. Negative $15 for the day. So it lost $15 for the day. Does that make sense, everybody? Does those candlesticks make sense? If it makes sense, put a one in the chat. If it makes sense, put a one in the chat. If it makes sense, put a one in the chat. If you're completely lost, put a two, okay? If you're completely lost, put a two in the chat. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Everybody, I literally break this stock market down, everybody, using R&B music, R&B music, rhythm, rhythm, what is it, rhythm and blues, rhythm and blues music, R&B, and using your personal relationships, okay? And your personal relationships, all right? So now, everybody... If I pull up this screen right here again, and I say somebody break down this red candlestick for me right here. Could you do it now? Could you break down this red candlestick for me? Yes or no? Just put a Y or N, Y or N. There you go, okay. There you go, perfect. Because you see this red candlestick right here. You know a red candlestick does what? It opens at the bottom. So this red candlestick right here, it opened up at $511.72. It closed up here. I'm sorry, a red candlestick opened at the top. I'm sorry. A red candlestick opened at the top. It opened right here at 514, 515.44. At the end of the day, it closed down here at 511.72. But we see this wick up here, right? We got that wick right around here. So we see this wick right here. The stock price went up to 518.21. Then it fell all the way down here to 511.09. And then it eventually closed right here at 511.72. And you say, Chris, why is that important? The reason why this is important, everybody, the next day the stock market opened, guess what I know now? I know where the sellers are. I know where the buyers are. Because I know the stock came up here to 518, and when it came to 518, what happened? It fell down, right? So that means people start to sell, right? So now I can come right here on my system, and I can mark a level right here at this 518 area, as an example to remind me, the sellers are right there. Then I can say, it came down here to this line right here. I can make another level and say, hey, I know the buyers bought in right here. And this is a level of support where the buyers buy in it. So now I know I have buyers right here and sellers right here. Just because I know what? I know the story of this candlestick. And I know where it closed at too, so I can come right here and draw a level and say, hey, it closed right here. So I know we got some sellers and buyers sitting right here. It goes deep, everybody. I'm gonna break all that stuff down to you later on. In the, uh, later on, if you wanna join the mastermind, you can get all that good information, okay? So everybody, so right now, what I've showed you, is it too difficult, too difficult to explain so far? With what I showed you so far, is it too difficult to understand? Okay, good stuff. Somebody said no, I love it. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's keep going. Now, second thing is this, everybody. The second fear, everybody say they don't have enough time to watch the market. Okay, they do not have enough time to watch the market. Everybody, can I do something right quick? I'm only going to do it if you guys say yes, okay? Can I go into the market, into my actual account, and show you all my best year, not year, but my best month I ever had? The best month I ever had. I made 30 plus thousand dollars trading stock options. Hey, but I'm not going to sit here before you and say I make $100,000 every single month trading. No. Some months I lose. Some months I win. But the goal is to win more than you lose, Okay? But my best month I ever had was right here in November, 2022, October, November, 22. I made over $30,000, almost $40,000 in one month trading. And the reason why I want to show this to you, everybody, is for this reason right here. Everybody, when I made this money this time, 
I was not at home in front of my computer. Okay. I was in Los Angeles. I was in Atlanta. I was in Tampa. I was in Rock Hill. I was traveling back and forth. I had, I was in and off the airplanes. I had my family with me. I had my kids with me. And while I was doing all this stuff, everybody, guess what else I was doing? I was working a full time job at the same time. Work laptop right there. So when I hear people say, Hey, I don't have time to watch the market. I'm like, eh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> okay. I'm like I really don't want to hear it because I don't want to hear it because I got five kids and I made $40,000 in one month and I was in and off of airplanes. So I definitely do not want to hear it. Okay. So let me show you all. Let me share my screen and show you all my best month. Okay. Uh, where are we? How do I get there? Where are we at right here? Okay. Okay. So let me share my screen right quick. All right. Everybody check this out. Okay. This is my actual TD Ameritrade account. As you can see, my account has not trans transferred over to Charles Schwab yet. It would transfer transfer uh transfer over on May 10th. Okay. On May 10th. All right. And as you can see, when I'm moving this thing around, the numbers are moving and the dates are moving, correct? They're moving around. Let you know this is my real account. It's not something I'm just posting and found off the internet. This is my real account. Okay. So I started this account off with $7,300 on October 20th. October 20th, my account value was $7,300. Everybody watch me work. Okay. Watch me work. Here we go. All right. So October 20th, my account value was $7,300. October 21st, my account value $10,000. October 24th, my account value $13,600. October 25th, my account value $13,700. October 26th, my account value is $15,200. October 27th, my account value, I'm sorry. Yeah, October 27th, my account value $23,400. Everybody got to be more careful. I literally took my account from $7,300 to $23,000 in seven days. Seven days, really it's five, five trading days. Five trading days, everybody. That's almost what a $16,000 increase. Okay, $16,000 in five days. All right, let's keep going. So October 27th, my account value is $23,400. October 28th, my account value is $22,400. October 31st, my account value is $19,900. October, the, November the 1st, my account value is $18,200. What does that mean? That means I lost $5,000 in three days, everybody. If anybody tells you, hey, you're not going to lose in this game, they're lying to you. If they say we're not, you're not going to lose, run as fast as possible. Run as fast as possible, okay? Get out of there, all right? You will win, you will lose. The goal is to minimize your losses. As you can see, I started with 7,300 and now I'm at 18,000. 18, I'm still up $11,000, okay? Let's keep going. November the 1st, my account back. Now, listen, everybody, this run that I'm about to tell you I went on right now, this run is crazy. Now, keep in mind, I'm doing this while I'm in and I'm on airplanes in Tampa, in Atlanta, in Los Angeles, at the Lakers game, while I'm working full time, at Myron Golden's conference, at Neo's conference. I'm all these places and working a full time job, and I got my kids with me. Okay? November the 1st, count value $18,200. November the 2nd, 20,500. November the 3rd, 21,500. November the 4th, 22,200. November the 7th, 26,000. November the 8th, 27,700. November the 9th, 28,300. November the 10th, 30,300. November the 11th, 31,800. November the 14th, $33,126. And don't forget my 22 cents. Gots to be more careful. I went crazy. Everybody, you could not tell me I wasn't the greatest trader alive when I went on this I went on this win streak. I feel like I couldn't be touched. I feel like I was the untouchables. I can't be touched right now, right? That's what I felt like, okay? 
I want everyone to experience this feeling. Everybody, this is an amazing feeling. To, see, to realize October 20th, I had 7,300 in my account. And then I go to, then I go to November the 14th, I got $33,000 in my account. I didn't have to go to nobody's job and work like a, a Hebrew slave. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to, I didn't have to rob Peter to pay Paul. I didn't have to get be get in trouble because I'm late to work or I'm uh, asked to work overtime and don't work overtime. Okay? <laughs> Al asked a great question. <laughs> Al say, so what happened on the 15th? I'm glad you asked, Al. <laughs> Uh, and also, I know somebody's thinking, right? Somebody's saying, man, with Chris, you uh you you trading with you had you started account with seventy three hundred dollars. I don't have money to start off with seventy three hundred dollars. I'm glad you said that, whoever said that, whoever's thinking that. Everybody, it's not about how much money you start with, it's about your return on your investment. I started I had my I had seventy three hundred dollars in my account. What if I would have had seven hundred and thirty dollars in my account? Instead of you, t instead of me taking my account to thirty three thousand, your account would have said thirty three hundred. Guess what? It's the same ROI. It's the same return on your investment. So if somebody put ten thousand in and make a thousand, that's a ten percent return, right? But if somebody put a hundred in and make ten dollars, guess what? It is a ten percent return on your investment. So we made the exact same amount of money. So don't think about how much money you put in. Think about your ROI. That's more important than the amount of money you put in because people have different financial situations. Some people may start off with 10,000. Some people may start off with 100. But if that person make 1,000 and you make $10, it's the exact same thing. Exactly, Devin. Think percentages. There you go. Okay. Now, Al said, Chris, it's a big boy drop off from November the 14th to November the 15th. What happened? So everybody, on no on November the 15th, I lost five thousand dollars in one day. Boom, lost it. So I had to have a come to come to Jesus moment and talk to myself. I said, Chris, and Chris said, Yes. You did a great job, man. Took your account from 7,300 already 33,000. Good stuff, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Right? But you lost five thousand dollars in one day. Was that smart? Nah, that wasn't smart at all, man. It wasn't smart at all. So what I understood already about myself, sorry about that. What I understood about myself already is I have a problem, right? When I have a lot of money in my account, I start getting loose with money. So what I said to myself was, Chris, it's time for you to take money out. So I took, I lost 5,000 and I took $20,000 out. Go back to my Instagram page and look at, go back to my Instagram and you will see that I made a video saying how to withdraw $20,000 from your trading account. That was me actually withdrawing $20,000 from my trading account, okay? And I was going to uh, actually invest in some real estate, but I decided not to invest in real estate, and I actually went and bought my daughter a car because she was about to turn of age to start driving, and she's in dance, and she needed a car. So I went and bought her a car. I'll praise to the most high, okay? I want, I want you guys to understand something I just said. I said something very important just now. I said that I took $20,000 out of my trading account, and I went and bought my daughter a car. I didn't say I had to go get a car loan. I didn't say I had to save money to do it. I didn't say I had to pay on it every single month. I didn't say I had to go to the to the to the spot and get a buy here, pay here car for my for my daughter. No. I literally went into the market, made thirty something thousand dollars trading. I took twenty thousand dollars out and I went and bought my daughter a car and I put the rest of my kids' daycare account to pay the daycare for the rest of the uh Pay daycare, whatever it was going to, whatever, pay the daycare bill. My daycare bill, $2,000 a month. Okay? To pay daycare. So what did I just do, everybody? I just talked, to, I just paid household expenses and I paid, a, my, got my daughter a car. And I, and I learned, and I got it because not because I'm smarter than nobody, smarter than somebody else. No, I did it because I just know the skill set of how to go into the market and make the money. It doesn't take a rocket science to figure it out, but it takes discipline to keep it. It takes discipline to continue to do the same thing over and over and over and not get greedy. Greed kills everybody, I'm telling you. All right? So I took that money out, did all that good stuff. And think about this, everybody. Think about if, if think about you, for example, if you got somebody, a kid in college or something, 
and say that college tuition was twenty thousand dollars for the whole year everybody i literally made enough money in 20 days to pay for my pay for a college tuition for the whole year craig this is a different way of living this is a different way of thinking I'm no longer, I no longer think that, hey, my job is going to get me where I need to be in life. No, I think now my job is the thing that's going to allow me to go out and find another skill set to be able to learn that skill set and be able to turn that money into something that's going to allow me to live my life. The job needs to pay the bills. Let the job keep the lights on. Let the job do all that stuff. But let real estate, the stock market, Toro, a business, whatever you have going on, let that be the thing that takes you and your family out of, the pro out of slavery into the promised land. Uh, bands, yes, I have a class. I have a, so if you stay to the end, bands, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to join my upcoming mastermind. It's a five-day class. It's a five-day class. I spend five days with you live over Zoom, just like we are right now, and I break down the entire stock market to you, okay? So, uh, yes, there is a cost associated with it. Yes, there is a cost. All right, so everybody, so November the 15th, everybody, I got $8,900 in my account. I went right back to business, everybody. November the 15th, $8,900. November the 16th, $9,500. November the 17th, $15,600. November the 18th, 18,700. If I went right back to business, I went right back to business. Okay. Right back to business, everybody. Okay. So everybody, when people say, Hey, I don't have enough time to watch the market. I say, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to hear it. No excuses. I don't live in a world of excuses. Everybody. I really don't. I got, I got five kids and all, and I got five kids, four of them under the age of seven. I work a full time job. I'm a senior vice president. Right. <laughs> okay. Please don't deceive yourself, yourselves, people. Uh, I don't know what Devin's talking about. Yeah, every, yeah, every, yeah, definitely, Devin. Everything has a cost associated with it, you know? Everything has a cost associated with it. If I gave it to you for free, everybody, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't pay attention. I can offer you a free five-day master class. I've done it before. I offered a master class, everybody, everybody. For, I spent five days with them, and I only charged them $5. I can, I can go back and look and see how many people did the work. I went back and looked and see how many people did the work. 75% of the people did not do the work. They did not do it. And I offered to them for five. It was a thousand people in that free class. Okay. So that's why. And I have, and, I, and I'm going to be the same. I'm the same way, everybody. This is, and I'm just pausing for a second. I'm the exact same way. You know how many people give me free courses on stuff? I never, I never look at them. Because I don't have, I don't have anything into it. But if I pay for a course, I'm all in. I'm, I'm looking everywhere. That's why some people, this call started off and had like 220 people on it. Right now we have 175 people on it. But if every but if everyone on this phone call right here would have paid five hundred dollars for this class, do you think those people who dropped off already would have dropped off? Nope. They would have stayed because they had something into it. Okay. All right. Let's keep going, everybody. I'm not done yet. Let's keep going. So I'm just I'm just being real with you, everybody. I can I can sit here and lie to you, but what's the purpose of doing that? All right. All right. So here we go. Next thing, everybody, pen and paper. Let's get started. Pen and paper. Let's go. Pen and paper. Let's go. We about to jump in. We about to go. All right, everybody. Supply and demand zones. This is a strategy, everybody, that I use every single day. This is a strategy I use every single day. Everybody, what I'm about to show you right now, this is the first thing I do every single morning. No matter which stock I'm looking at, what I'm about to show you right now is what I do every single morning. Okay? Y'all ready? It's called supply and demand zones, everybody. I go to my charts and I find the supply zone and I find the demand zone. Okay? I find a supply zone and I find a demand zone, everybody. Okay? Now, let me break down what a supply and demand zone, uh, what they are. I'm going to read the technical definition to you. But then when I read this technical definition, you're not, not going to have any idea what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to break it. So I'm going to break it down and put it in simplest terms for you so you can understand it. Okay, so a demand zone, everybody. This is what the technical definition of a demand zone say, says. It says the demand zone is an area on the chart where buyers have stepped in and overwhelmed the sellers, pushing the price up. 
This could result in an increase in demand or a decrease in supply. That's a demand zone. And you probably like, Chris, I have no idea what you just said. I know you don't, because I don't even know what I just said, right? Now, this is what a supply zone is. A supply zone is an area on a chart where sellers have stepped in and overwhelmed the buyers, pushing the price down. This could be the result of an increase in supply or a decrease in demand. That's the supply zone. You guys probably like Chris. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about either. When I listen, everybody, when I when I when I met that dude in Myrtle Beach, the guy in Myrtle Beach, man, he when he broke it down to me on the way home, like a three and three and a half hour drive from Myrtle Beach to my house. First thing I did went to YouTube. I listened to about 30, 40, 50 YouTube uh, videos. And everybody, when I got home, I was lost. <laughs> okay, I was like, what are they talking about? I'm not a slow leap by any means, right? But I'm like, what are these people talking about? I have no idea. They tell them about this thing. Strike price, strike price, strike price. I feel like the strike price had to be the most important thing. I got all these videos on strike price. And I'm watching these videos. I'm like, man, I don't know what they're talking about. I said, I ain't never going to get this stuff. But lo and behold, everybody, lo and behold. Okay, so... Let me break down to you what a demand zone is, everybody. Okay, listen. Listen up close. Get your pen and paper. Screenshot this if you need to. Whatever you need to do, okay? I call a demand zone Big Mama's House. Okay? Big Mama's House. Remember, everybody, I break the stock market down using R&B music and your personal relationships, okay? If you have a Big Ma, a Nene, a Grandma, a G-Ma, a Mimi, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. If you have one, put a one in the chat. All right, there go the ones. Okay, there go the ones. All right, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. That's y'all moving kind of slow. Y'all ain't moving fast enough. But matter of fact, matter of fact, Trey, Trey, you was the first person. You was the first person, Trey, to put it in the chat. I'm about to get Trey fifty dollars. Trey, you just won fifty dollars. You was the first one moving. Everybody else moving slow. Trey, here you go, Trey. Send your Zelle or your Cash App to this email address I just put in the chat. I just put this email address in the chat. Trey, I want you to send, I want you to send your Zelle or your Cash App to that number. I mean, to that email address, you just want $50, okay? T-R-E, Trey, okay? Everybody, listen, I need y'all to be with me. Be with me, especially at this moment where I'm about to show you guys right now. Be with me, okay? All right, let's go. That's you, Trey, T-R-E. T-R-E, Trey. Let me make sure you got it. Oh, my gosh. Marcia Sharp. You just said something. You don't even know what you just said, Marcia Sharp, but you just said it, too. Good Googly movie. You just said something. Marcia Sharp just said something. And I'm going to ask you a question, Miss Marcia Sharp. It's the four-hour supply zone. I mean, demand zone. All right, check this out, everybody. This is the demand zone, though. So everybody got a big ma, grandma, nan, nan, g ma, whatever you call it, right? My nanan, -nan, right? Big mama, my nanan, -nan, whatever you call her, right? She has six boys and three girls. Whenever her boys got into trouble, they would always come back to nanan's -nan house. And so they'd come knock on nanan's -nan front door, knock, 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 knock. And nanan -nan would open the door for her. And when she opened the door, she used to look at them and said, baby, you okay? Say, you need some food? Come on in, baby. Need somewhere to stay? That back room yours? She made them breakfast, lunch, dinner. Made sure they had a nice hot, hot bath. Made sure that she had, they had kerosene in the kerosene heated to keep the house warm. She prayed for them. She read them Bible scriptures. She did all these things for them. And the reason she did it was to build them back up so they can go out into the, back into the real world. So when I want you guys to think about a demand zone, a demand zone is the exact same thing as a big mama or a nana. And when a stock comes to a demand zone, the demand zone is full of buyers, everybody. Full of buyers. Full of buyers. And when the buyers start, when the stock comes into the demand zone, the buyers start to buy the stock up, buy the stock up, buy the stock up, buy the stock up, buy the stock up. Buy the stock up, then boom, the stock explodes out of the demand zone. It's just like going, in, just like Nana. The stock, the uh, the sons come into Nana's house. She cook, 
Make sure they got somewhere to lay their head at night. Make sure they got hot water, uh, hot water, they got kerosene to kerosene heater, got breakfast, lunch, and dinner, praying for them, reading Bible scriptures, and then eventually the boys gain enough strength to do what? Go back into the real world. And then the real world hits again. The boys come back down. The stock comes back down. The boys come back down. The stock comes back down. The boys come back to Nana's front door, knock on the front door. Big Mama say or Nana say, come on in, baby. You ate something? That back room back there yours. She cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Make sure it's kerosene in the kerosene heater. She prayed for them, reading Bible scriptures, building them up and preparing them for what? To go back into the real world. When those stocks come back into that demand zone, guess what those buyers start to do? Those buyers start buying it up, 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 buying it up. Then boom, the stock explodes and go back up. Everybody, when the buyers are buying up this stock, what should you be doing? You should be buying as well. You should be buying a call option. Remember we said a call option when we believe the stock price is going to go up, the stock price is going to increase. As long as this stock is in this demand zone and the buyers are not letting the stock price fall down through the demand zone and they're buying and they're buying and they're buying and they're buying, you should be looking to buy call options because the stock is eventually going to do what? Boom, shoot up. And then that stock comes right back down into this demand zone. Nanan's, Nanan's sons come back into that demand zone. Boom. Knock on Nanan's front door. Nanan look at him. Come on in, baby. You ate something? That back room back there yours. She cooked lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Make sure there's kerosene in the kerosene heater. The buyers, the stock comes into the demand zone. The buyers do what? They buy, buy. Ba, 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 and boom, goes up. But somebody saying, Chris, it does that every single time? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Say, for example, right? Say, for example, the stock comes to the demand zone. I don't know. Say the stock comes to the demand zone four times. And three times it bounces out and goes up, but one time it breaks through. That means you won three play three trades and lost one trade. Would you take those winning odds to win three times and lose once? I know I would. Yeah, done right. That means I win if it's a five day week, I win four days and only lose one day. I take it. But Chris, if I lose, I can lose a lot of money. Ha ha. When you lose, you see the bottom of this demand zone right here. We set a stop loss right here at the bottom of that demand zone. Meaning what a stop loss is, if the stock falls down here, it automatically sells for you and you already know how much money you are potentially losing. Okay? That's a demand zone, everybody. That's a demand zone. Okay? Now, remember I said something about a supply zone too. Let me show you guys a supply zone. Okay? Everybody, I call... Matter of fact, let me put a matter of fact, put a one in the chat, everybody. Put a one in the chat if that makes sense about the demand zone. If it does not make sense, put a two in the chat. And if it's okay if it doesn't make sense, everybody, it's okay. But if it does, put a one in the chat. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. All right. Now, everybody, a supply zone. Okay? Lashara Bonds put a three. <laughs> Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, a supply zone, everybody. Whew. So with that, I cooked on the grill today. Everybody, I put I put some food on the grill today. I cooked fry, I cooked chicken on the grill, some hamburgers and hot dogs. Man, I'm a beast on that grill. Called me the grill master, but it was it was busting. So I'm kind of full right now. My wife, she cooked these baked beans. Man, she cooked like the best baked beans. It's crazy. But anyway, let's get back to business. So supply zone, everybody. I call a supply zone Mary J. Blige. Okay, I call a supply zone Mary J. Blige. The reason why I call a supply zone Mary J. Blige for this reason right here. Listen to me, everybody. I cannot sing, but just acknowledge that I'm trying. Okay, give me credit for trying. Okay, 
I call a supply zone Mary J. Blige because when I say, if I sing this, I'm going down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't around, baby. My whole world's upside down. That's a supply zone. So if I say I'm going down, supply zone Mary J. Blige, where do you think the stock price is going? Is it going up or is it going down? There you go. It's going down. Therefore, we're looking to buy puts. Okay? So look right here on the screen, everybody. When we come into the supply zone, it comes to the supply zone, it sits in the supply zone, sits in the supply zone, boom, falls down. Comes back into the supply zone, sit in the supply zone, sit in the supply zone, falls down. Come back into the supply zone, boom, falls down again. Guess who's sitting in the supply zone, everybody? You have sellers sitting in the supply zone. You have sellers sitting right here in this supply zone, everybody. This is why you want to identify your demand zone and your supply zone. That's your first thing you want to identify because it tells you where the buyers are and where the sellers are. So if the buyers are in the demand zone, you want to be a buyer in the, a buyer in the demand zone. If the sellers are in the, in the uh, supply zone, you want to be a seller in the supply zone. Makes sense, everybody? I know this seems simple, but it's not simple. It sounds real simple, but it's not simple, everybody. This stuff takes work, effort. Work and effort. But a supply zone is where the sellers are. A supply zone basically is the zone where people, the stock is trying to break through the supply zone. Okay? But the suppliers, the sellers keep pushing the stock back down and boom, it falls down. Okay? All right? So, now, let's put it all together. Now, some smart person has already put it together. Somebody say, Chris, you're telling me the buyer's in the demand zone, the seller's in the supply zone. So are you saying, Chris, right here, when this stock goes from here when the stock goes from here out of demand zone up, where is it going? Is, is it possibly going to the supply zone? Uh. And when it hit the supply zone and fall down, is it possibly falling back down to the demand zone? And then when it comes back to this demand zone, and goes back up, is it possibly going back up to the supply zone? Everybody that asked that question is yes. 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 That's what it's doing. Yes. Everybody, the one hour, four hour, and one year, one day supply and demand zones, everybody. When the stock comes into those demand zones and it comes into those supply zones, I'm looking for plays. I'm looking for, there you go, the expected move. When a stock comes into, when a stock comes into the demand zone, I'm looking for an expected move to the out to the upside, back up to a supply zone somewhere up there. If it breaks through, that demand zone, I'm looking forward to go to another demand zone. Y'all with me? Supply and demand, everybody. You can play it from supply zone to demand zone, demand zone to supply zone. In other words, what it's called is when it's at a demand zone, I'm buying it at a lower price. When we get to a supply zone, I'm selling at a higher price. If I buy in at $5 in the demand zone, it goes to $20. I'm selling that $20 and I'm potentially getting back in the puts, taking it right back down to $5 or somewhere close. 
Does it work all the time? Absolutely not. It has to break eventually. What's protecting you, everybody? A stop loss is protecting you. Okay? Y'all with me? If that makes sense, everybody put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if this makes sense. Put a one in the chat if it makes sense. Good stuff. I'm glad this makes sense. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, everybody. Good stuff. All right. Let me put my screen back up. So, uh, yes, right here. So, everybody, when every, so when everybody's afraid of losing money, right? Everybody's afraid of losing money, right? Everyone is afraid of losing money. Everyone is afraid not getting to not getting into the actual plays and all these good things, all these crazy things. Everybody, learning the story helps you understand it. So think about this, everybody. I can't go over everything with you. But let me ask you this question. Just be honest. You don't have to just be completely honest. Is it too complicated to understand? Or you're just not getting taught. Somebody's not breaking it down to you the right way or putting breaking it down to you at a place where you currently are. Okay. So what I showed you so far, imagine me going deeper than that with you. Imagine me having 20, 20 hours almost 30 hours to spend with you and break it down even more. Break it down to the point where you understand right here is where you get in it, right here is where you get out it, right here is where you get in it, right here is where you get out it, and break it down to you so you can understand the why, W-H-Y. Watch this, everybody. Let me show you guys something. Watch this. Let me pull this up for you right quick. Let me show you how beautiful this is. So I use the indicator, right? I teach people, I teach you how to draw supply and demand zone on your, on your own. But I also have an indicator that, I also have an indicator that does it for me, right? Why, why work, uh, work smarter, not harder, right? Let me take this off right quick. Take that off. Boom, boom, boom. Let me touch my smart money concept off. All right, look right here, everybody. Right here on my screen. See this green line right here? I'll make it bigger for you. See this green line right here? That says demand zone. This green zone is a demand zone, everybody. This is an indicator that I use, okay? You see the demand zone started, everybody, right here. The demand zone started right here. Now watch this, everybody. The stock went up, came back down to this demand zone. Did it break the demand zone? Nope. They say no, it went back up again, came back down to the demand zone. Did it break the demand zone this time? Nope. Next thing you know, it came, went up, and shot all the way up here, and went all the way up for a whole little ride. Look at it, look and see where it went to. Okay? Let me clear it right quick. Went all the way up here on a nice little ride. Right? Nice little ride. And then look, everybody. The stock fell back down. Like a week and a half later. And came right back to the what, everybody? To this demand zone. Now, everybody, I'm not a rocket scientist by no means whatsoever. Am I a rocket scientist? Right? But watch this. If I see over here, this is, what day is this? This is February 28th through February 29th. If I see over here for two whole days, the stock could not break this demand zone. And then eventually it shot on up. Left Big Mama's house, right? Shot up and went up. And then it came back, then it fell back down here to Big Mama's house again. Everybody, I'm not a rocket scientist. But I would say the next time this stock comes back to this demand zone, I'm doing what? And it comes back to Big Mama's house, I'm doing what? I'm buying in. 
I'm buying in because I know the last time we came to this level, it did what? It shot up eight dollars, eight ten dollars. So it fell right back down here. Boom! You buy back, you buy in, and look at all this money you make. All this up here just going, 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 going. That's called money. All because you identified a demand zone. All because you identified a demand zone and you trusted yourself to get into that trade when it was time for you to get into that trade. Everybody, it's not rocket science. It's just, are you willing to commit yourself to doing it? Once again, it's 165 people in here. When we first started, we had 220 people in here. That means a good number of people has already dropped off. Because it's free. F-R-E-E. -E. They have nothing tied to it. But if you pay $500 for it, those people will not have fallen off. Everybody, what I'm showing you is not easy. I'm not, this is not, trading stock options is not easy. It's a headache. It's beautiful. I almost remind me of somebody, of a spouse. <laughs> A spouse or your loved one, whoever, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever you're dating. It's sort of like that person. You love them one moment, you hate them the next moment. Right? It's, that's the same thing it is with stock options. You treat like it's a relationship. You learn when they're having a good day, when it's having a bad day. You learn when to buy calls and when to buy puts. You learn when to buy flowers and when to rub somebody's feet. You learn these things about what you're trading. My wife, <laughs> my wife on here, y'all. She just texted me with the uh, with the angry faces. <laughs> Cause I said spouse, babe. I wasn't talking about you. Anyway, but anyway, listen. It's a skill set. You learn when to divorce. <laughs> but it's a skill set that you have to learn, everybody. And listen. You can do this every single day for the rest of your life. And I'm not telling you right now that you're going to make uh that you're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars the first month, the first year. I'm not telling you that. But what I am telling you is this, everybody. You will no longer have to worry about your your mortgage being paid. You will no longer have to worry about your light bill, gas bill, phone bill being paid. You will no longer have to be waiting on that bi-weekly paycheck to hit your account just so you can go buy groceries or just so you can go buy some, put some gas in your car. I've been in that predicament before and I did not like it. I did not like it. The reason why I say that everybody is because of this. If you make $1,000 one week trading stock options, that's more than some people's bi-weekly paycheck. I remember my bi-weekly paycheck used to be 900 and something dollars. I worked 80 hours and got 900 and something dollars paycheck. By the time I by the time I pay a car payment, pay rent, that paycheck is gone. And I'm sitting there looking, looking crazy for the next two weeks, trying to make $40, $50 stretch. And when you only got $40 or $50 in your pocket, you're hungry. You be the most hungriest person in the world. Right? Like you want to go, you want to go spend them $40, $50, right? But and, and then if it's not about money for to you, right? Because I've been on both sides. I've been on the sides where I didn't have any money, and I've been on the sides where I made good money. But what I understood was when you make sometimes when you make more money, you may have more responsibilities. And when you have more responsibilities, your job takes a lot of your time away from your family. And sometimes I don't want to have to work overtime. I don't want to have to uh, do all these things that stay over at my job to make sure this presentation is good and this presentation is good. No, I want to come home and stay. I want to come home and go to my son's baseball games and go to my daughter's dance recitals. I don't want to have to work. Okay? All right? So it's a skill set that's worth learning. It's a skill set that's worth learning, everybody. Okay? So, everybody, can you guys give me about 15 more minutes? Put a yes in the chat and give me 15 more minutes. Okay? 15 more minutes. What I want to do is I want to uh, – I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a uh, – tell you guys about the mastermind I have coming up. And then from there, I'm going to show you guys a few more things, right? And then we're going to go from there, okay? So, while everybody's afraid to lose money, okay? Check out my guy Josh, right? Because I get this question all the time, right? I get this question, hey, Chris, 
uh, how long does it take for you to start making money? And I tell people, it's different. I've seen people make money in three months. I've seen people make people in six months. I've seen people make money in 12, 18, 24 months. I tell people, listen, I don't care how long it takes you to get, get confident and get good with it. Just do it. Like the Nike check, right? Just do it, okay? Look at my guy Joshua right here, okay? Everybody, Joshua, look at the date. A April 22nd, 2022. Joshua took my April 2022 class, right? This is what he said. First day trading made a little profit. They did not fulfill my order till an hour later. I bought in at 10.42 a.m. He said, you the truth, Chris. Uh, strong arm sign. Thank you, Majid. He made $33 his very first trade. Okay. Now, let's fast forward five months later, everybody. Five months later, let's fast forward. Look what Joshua said. He said, another day of profit. He made $540. Okay, the question is, why did he say another day of profit? This is five months later. He said another day of profit because on September 28th, the day before, he made a thousand dollars in one day. He said, All praise to the most high. Joshua had never traded a day in his life before. Five, he took my class in April. Five months later, he's making a thousand dollars in a day. Right here, Joshua say, Super grateful. He made $920. Right here, Joshua say, I'm out the way. Hope everybody's green. He made $1,090. Right here, Joshua said a 15-minute scalp. That means he was in the trade for 15 minutes on October 6th. He made $1,210. Right here, Joshua, October 17th, said in and out. Hope y'all hope green today. Made $1,030. Crazy, right? Crazy, right? Okay, let's keep going on. Let me show you something else. Because somebody's probably saying in their head, Chris, that's 2022. Ah, that's 2022. Do you have anything that's more updated? Let's see. Take a look at my guy right here. Can you guys see my screen? No. Okay, let me show you my screen. I'm going to take you out into my Discord chat. Right? Look at my Discord chat. Check this out. Look at this. Look at my, this is my Discord chat. Take a look right here. Look what it say right here. Ken B. This is my guy, Ken B. Take a look right here. Ken B. Just landed. What date does that say, everybody? That says Friday, March 18, 2022. He took my March 2022 class, right? And look what, look what he's doing. This is March 2022 now. Now let's go to current date. All right? Right here on March 8th. March 8th, 1047, 2024, everybody. Y'all see that date? Same person, right? Can be, right? March 8th, 2024. Look what he said. Who makes $1,000 in 20 minutes? Question mark. I do. This is insane. Took the spot earlier this morning. We're dating and we are. Jagged edge, flag pattern, DMT, breakout flag, big green, engulfing candles. Jagged edge, shot up, take profit. How much money made? $1,048. $1,048. Boom. That's on March 8th. That was Friday. Let's keep going with Ken B. Who is this? Oh, okay. This is Kia Gaines. Kia Gaines made $700 on, uh, on March 6th. Let's keep going with Ken B, though. On February 26th, Ken B. February 26th, 2024. How much did he lose? He lost $700. You win some, you lose some. Let's keep going. February 23rd, Ken B. Look how much money he made. $5,392 trade in the video. $5,392 trade in the video. That was, look at the day, everybody. February 23rd, 2024. He took my 2022 class, right? Look right here. February 22nd, 2024. Good gracious. Caught some of that overnight in the video earnings last night. Exit the trade this morning. How much money he made in one day? $9,165. $9,165 trading stock options in an overnight swing trade. It was an earnest play. Let's keep going, though. People might say he's still not, it's still not enough. February the 20th. This all, is this all of, uh, last month, everybody, February 20th. February 20th. He said, reading historical data, trading the video, $2,200. $2,200 in one day. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right here. February the 16th. Look what he said. February 16th, 2024. Look what he said. I am literally at work making bread on top of bread. 
This is trading. This trading gig is truly changing my life before my own eyes. Thank you, Chris and the gang for helping begin my journey in trading two years ago this month. CYC. Well, turn off my phone. Look how much money you made. $4,160. Everybody, do you guys see this? Y'all see this? I can I can keep going with them. Let me just keep going with them right quick. One second. February the 12th, $2,000. Keep going. February the 9th, $3,000. Is everybody going to make the amount of money he's making? No. But everybody can learn the skill set. He may make $4,000. That might be $400 for you. Don't let somebody else's journey dictate your journey. Just because they're making thousands and thousands of dollars, be happy with your $40. Be happy with your $10. Because if you can make $10 or $40 in the market, you can make $1,000 in the market. Only thing it is is putting more money into it. Okay? Look at, Brand like, for example, look at Brandon right here. Brandon made $78 this day. 4% return on this investment. $70 add up, everybody. $70 a day, that's $350 a month, $350 a week. $350 a week, that's over $1,000 a month. Okay? So, everybody, if you feel comfortable, if you feel good right now, if you feel, uh, if you feel like I did not waste your time, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. When you wake up in the morning, if you're going to be thinking about this, put a one in the chat. I love it. Good stuff. I love it. 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 Okay. I love it. I love this stuff. Okay. So right now what I'm going to do is everybody, I'm going to give you the opportunity to spend five days with me. Okay. I'm going to give you the opportunity to spend five days with me. And everybody, what I tell everybody, these five days are not like any other five days. And I tell everybody right now, it's not for everybody. And the reason why I say it's not for everybody is for this one reason, this one reason only. Because everybody's not willing to put in the work. I keep saying that because it takes work. You're about to learn a skill set that can change your life. You're about to learn a skill set that you can do every day for the rest of your life. You're about to learn a skill set that you can teach your kids. You're about to learn a skill set that you can teach your kids. One second. All right, perfect. There we go. You're about to learn a skill set that you can teach your kids. You're going to learn a skill set that you can do every single day for the rest of your life. Okay? So, what I have is this, everybody. Let me share my screen. I have a five-day mastermind that starts in 14 days. In 14 days, everybody. It starts March 25th through March 29th. Okay? 14 days away. In this mastermind, everybody, I'm going to spend five days with you, just like we're on this Zoom right now, five days with you. I'm going to show you everything that I use on a day-to-day -day basis from A all the way to Z. What we went over today, I'm going to break it down by 10. Because I gave you a high-level overview of supply and demand zone. I didn't go into the details, the nitty-gritty of it, and all that good stuff. I gave you the overview of it because I'm stretched on time. We're going to break everything down to you from A to Z. Okay? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Come down here. Okay, now the price of it is $497 for regular mission and its VIP is $997, okay? So how the days will look on these classes, right? Class will start every day at 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. General mission goes to 8 p.m. VIP goes to 9 p.m. 
Everybody VIP gets an extra hour with me, right? An extra hour with me for a Q and A session. That means we all on there having a Q and A talk, Q and A conversation. You ask me any question about trading, we digging deeper about asking, answering questions that you have questions too. Okay. All right. Then with our five evening classes, we have four live trading sessions. So what you what I teach you on Monday evening. On Tuesday morning, we get together and have a live trading on Tuesday morning from 11 a.m. to noon Eastern Standard Time. And I'm showing you everything I taught you the previous day. I'm showing it to you in the real market the next day. I'm showing it to you in the real market the next day. Okay? This is the thing, though, everybody. Every class, every live class that we have is recorded. So if you say, hey, Chris, I may miss a class in the evening or I may miss one of the live trading sessions. No worries, everybody. No worries. The reason why it's no worries, every class is recorded and you get to keep unlimited access to the class recordings. Stop, pause, freeze. Chris, what did you just say? Let me say that again so you can understand. You get to keep unlimited access to the class recordings. You don't have to pay anything extra for the class recordings at all. You keep the class recording. So on Monday's class, Monday's class recording will be available the next day by 11 a.m. Okay? Okay? VIP, you say, Chris, what's the difference between VIP and regular admission? Everybody, VIP get the extra hour. Okay, the extra hour of Q&A session, which is, which is like golden, all right? You get the entry to read a free laptop. You get a free journal. You get a free at three months free into my book club. You also get instant access to week one, okay? You get instant access to not week one, but uh, class, day one of class, okay? And let me kind of break that down to you and show it to you right quick, okay? So I want you guys to understand truly when I say I break this stock market down and I give you everything you need. Let me show you an example of me giving you what everything you need looks like, okay? So let me take you into one of my older, let me take you to my December mastermind, right? And let me show you how that looks, okay? And when you do VIP, you get access to day one instantly, okay? So people always ask, hey, Chris, what does it look like, okay? What does it look like, this, that, and the third, and all these good things, right? Take a look right here. Day one class. Okay. Day one class, you're going to have this day one homework right here. You're also going to have the day one replay. The day one replay is going to be up so you can watch the whole class over. You have, you have access to this portal forever for your particular class. Day one homework, though. This is the catcher. Day one homework. Look at this. This is what is breaking down. This is what I give you, right? Right? This is day one. Day one. After class. You get this, how to open up your Char Charles Schwab brokerage account. I got a video of me right here showing you how to open up your account step by step. Because people ask me all the time, Chris, how do I open up my account? Got a video right here breaking down step by step. Okay. Oh, yeah, also, I, uh, T. Ken T Kenny. Now, I'm not sure about the uh, that credit repair stuff, but that has nothing to do with me for the credit repair. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Uh, next thing you know, Thinkorswim tutorial, the platform that I use, Thinkorswim. We're going to go over, use it in class, but right here I got a tutorial for you, 25 minutes, breaking down the whole platform, to, whole platform telling you, hey, press this button, press this button, press this button, press this button, press this button. Boom. Next thing you know, another tutorial, how to set up your charts. Another tutorial, how to draw support and resistance lines. Another tutorial, how to draw trend lines. Another tutorial, how to create your EMAs. I literally break this thing down to you and put it in the simplest form for you. So we go over everything in class. Then I say, let's go deeper for homework. And then we go deeper for homework. You got these tutorials right here, breaking down all this stuff for you. This is only day one, everybody. When you sign up for VIP, you get instant access to this immediately. Okay. But when you, when you do regular mission, you get access on day one of the class. Okay. This will give you a jump start on the mastermind. Okay, this is only day one, everybody. That's only day one. All right. Let me go back. 
Because that's only day one. Then you got day two, you got day three, you got day four, you got day five, all these things down here. Trade and view, just everything. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be crazy, everybody, okay? So once again, if you would like to sign up, if you say, hey, Chris, I'm ready, I'm with it, let's make this thing happen. I'm putting the link in the chat right now, everybody. I want knowledge. Com slash mastermind. All right. I just put that link in the chat, everybody. What you can do is just copy and paste that link into your browser. You can sign up for the mastermind. Okay. Everybody have 14 days remaining until this mastermind happens. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't, I don't know why this person keeps posting this creative stuff in the chat. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. So I want to show you guys one more thing. Okay. Give me one more second. I'm going to get you guys out of here. Okay. So once again, the link is right here in the chat. Let me make sure. Boom, boom, boom. The link is right here in the chat. Okay. Right there in the chat if you want to sign up. And let me show you another thing right quick. Okay. Let me show you one other thing right quick. One second. Pull my Discord chat back up. Mm -mm -mm. Let me show you this chat right here, okay? Okay? This chat right here is for people that's similar to you. They're, they're newbies, okay? They're newbies. One second. Okay. These are newbies in my program. Okay. They're in, they're in one of my programs. So you're going to see, uh, you're going to see smaller amounts, right? Take a look right here. These are newbies. She's, uh, she's made $141 on March 8th. They're having to call a March, a March madness challenge. They have small accounts and they're trying to grow their account by 10 to 15, 20% each month. she made $141 on March 8th. Come down here. Greg made $157. Come down here. We see uh, Abundant Joe made $641. These are newbies now, okay? $641. Uh, right here, Tamor, she made $158. Tamor, everybody, Tamor, she's, she's been in the program, like she's been in my, uh, my mentorship for like three months. And she came in and she was overwhelmed at first. Right, she came in, she was overwhelmed at first. And then next thing you know, she called me and she's like, Chris, I'm just overwhelmed, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. We had a good conversation and then she just started to go crazy. Just started to study hard, study hard, study hard. She was inside the, uh, she was inside of the actual chat, just asking questions, asking questions. And look what she said right here on March 8th. She said, yeah, man, you killed it this morning. She said, I, she said, I was able to secure $158 off the drop. Had I stayed in, I would have made 600. She said, I love it. We do have a special, we do have something special in this promised land family. Everybody, we are a family. And my goal is to take ordinary people who knew absolutely nothing about a stock market. They're not starting off with 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars. No, they're regular people who starting off with maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars or a thousand, two thousand dollars, and they're trying to make things work for themselves. Because they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Everybody, once again, if that's you, if that's you, join into the March Mastermind and take that risk. Is it going to be easy? Absolutely not. It's not going to be easy. I'm telling you that right now. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be some days you want to quit. Like, I, don't, I don't know who this person is. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to kick him out. I don't know who this T. King is. Kenny Keen person. I don't know who he is. I don't know how to kick him out though. Man, I wish I could kick him out. Everybody just disregard whoever that person is though. Disregard him. Okay, just disregard him. I, I have no idea who this person is. I, I wish I could do I wish I could kick him out some type of way. I don't know how to do it. Anyway. But to my point is everybody, like I said, I'm not gonna lie to you until it's gonna be easy because it's not going to be easy. It's gonna be real hard. Is the mastermind also included in the 497 as well? Yes, everything is included. The mastermind is the 497. 
So the 497 and the 997, they're the same thing except for the 997. You get extra time with me. You also get uh, early access to uh, the day one class and all that stuff. Okay? So it's the same thing. It's the mastermind. You get live access via Zoom the whole, the whole nine. Okay? Uh, I have SoFi accounts. Can I use that? I'm not sure what SoFi accounts are when you mean can you use it. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Okay? All right, everybody. Well, listen, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me go ahead and pay for somebody's lunch for the week. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this uh, webinar. Hopefully, it kind of gave you some game. It gave you some understanding of what's, what's happening, what's in place. If you enjoyed this webinar tonight, everybody, put a one in the chat. If you did not, put a two in the chat. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you didn't, okay? You, won't, you will not hurt my feelings if you didn't. Hopefully, I didn't waste your time. And I want to get you out of here because I know you got to get the kids ready for school and so on and so on if you got kids, okay? So what I'm going to do, everybody, right now, what I want everybody to do is I want everybody to take a picture of me right now, okay? Take a picture of me right now, and I want you to tag me in my, on my Instagram. My Instagram is at cjack130. Also, what I want you to do is go to my YouTube all right, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, go to my YouTube and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. So go to my YouTube channel. Also, hit the uh, go to my Instagram. Go to my Instagram and uh, tag me in your story or one of your posts. And from there, we're going to select who the winner is. Okay, so my team, we're looking at it right now. Let's see, and make sure you make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Okay. All right, so right here is my, my YouTube. We just go to YouTube and type in Chris Jackson Stock Options, and I should come up. Stock Options 101, I should come right up. I should come right up. My Instagram is at cjack130. At cjack130. So at cjack130 is my Instagram, and then it's going to YouTube. Let's go to Christopher Jackson. Stock Options 101, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And y'all, when you go to my YouTube channel, go to my live. I don't really post like regular videos. I just do live videos on YouTube. I got a whole lot of live videos on them. Do you have any uh, trading books you recommend? Yes, everybody. Also, okay. Also, we have a book club, everybody. I'm glad. Thank you, uh, Fahim, for asking me that. We have a book club. The book club is starting this Thursday. Okay, the book club is only 50 cents a day, everybody. So that's $15 a month is for the book club. And what we do is we go through a whole bunch of books. We read all the books, break the books down. We come, we join, we join on the Zoom twice a month. We join in on a Zoom call and we have a, a live reading session. We break down these books. The first book that we're reading is called Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Okay, Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Okay. So everybody, if you want to join into the book club, honestly, I would highly recommend you join into the book club. I really would. I just put the book club link in the chat as well. Okay. I just put the book club link in the chat. Like I say, the book club chat is $15 a month and you get to spend an hour with me every other week. And we're reading through books. We're breaking down uh, what we learned in the books and also looking at the, looking at the market a little bit as well. Okay, and then we have a little Q and A session, just in case you guys want to ask me anything about the market as well. Okay, how do I get on your mentorship? The mentorship program will reopen at the uh, during the mastermind. Okay, so I uh, normally I don't take people into my mentorship program unless they've taken the mastermind. Okay, unless they're taking the mastermind. 
So you can take the mastermind and being from, and the reason why I do that is because I want you first to make sure you understand and you enjoy my teaching style before, before uh, committing yourself to some long, to long-term studying with me. Okay. Is Fidelity a good company to sign up with versus Charles Schwab? Is there a difference? Uh, I haven't used Fidelity before. I know people say they do not like Fidelity's platform for trading. Uh, honestly, everybody, I use Charles Schwab Thinkorswim. It's been nothing but good to me. Uh, so I have no issues with it. No issues at all. Okay. All right, everybody. So we have the winner is Nino Ock. Nino Ock. So Nino Ock, are you in the chat right now? Nino Ock, are you in the chat right now? Nino Ock. Nino Ock, Nino Ock, Nino Ock. If you hear, that's Fahim. Okay, that's Fahim. All right, Fahim. Send an email to admin right here. Admin at Iwantknowledge.com. Send an email to admin, admin I want knowledge.com. You just want a hundred dollars. We can take care of your lunch for the day. So you can have don't have to worry about lunch for the week. Oh, lunch for the week, okay? All right, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. All right, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed, everybody. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this. I would tell everybody this. Listen, if you want to learn this skill set, you need to be around people that's doing this. You're going to go to your family members and all this stuff, and they're going to be like, you talking about the stock market. No, you stay away from that stock market. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Stay away from it, right? That's what you're going to hear a lot of. But when you're trying to learn this, you need to be around people, okay? That's why I say subscribe to my YouTube channel. I go live on YouTube about three, four times a week to talk about the stock market, okay? Join the book club. The book club is literally only $15 a month. And you get to spend, you get to spend hours with me look, going, reading through books. Whereas that's where all the knowledge comes from, books, reading through books, uh, breaking down the books, giving you a stronger understanding of the stock market. Every Wednesday on my YouTube channel, everybody, I trade live every Wednesday on my YouTube channel, meaning I'm on my, I'm on my real account and I'm trading on my YouTube channel. Okay. I use thinkers when I place my trades. And then once again, uh, you're not Robinhood. Robinhood is more so for long-term, uh, long-term options and things of that nature. You can't do technical analysis in, uh, in, uh, Robinhood. Okay. That's what's up, Samantha. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh, and once again, March 25th through March 29th is the mastermind, everybody. So if you want to be a part of that mastermind, if you say, hey, Chris, I'm ready to learn it, go to the website. Uh, and you'll definitely get an email probably after this class as well with the link to join in. You have the link for the book club and the link for the mastermind. Okay. I would highly recommend you join one of them, if not both of them. Okay. Listen, everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's 10 o'clock. Let me get off of here right now. And everybody, listen, you guys have a good one. All praise to the most high. I will see you Wednesday for live trading on my YouTube channel. And I'll see you Thursday for the book club, uh, our first book club session, okay? Y'all have a good one. He said, before you leave, what's the trade space? I use Thinkorswim to trade. Thinkorswim is where I place my trades. Thinkorswim is where I place my trades. All right, everybody. Listen, you all have a good one. All praise to the most high.